Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to eliminate the shimmering in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Shimmering is the flickering that you see on buildings or on parts of the scenery, especially far in the distance. This problem is more prominent on 2K displays when TAA is enabled. 4K displays may not exhibit the shimmering problem, but what I'm about to show you in the in-game settings might actually help provide a much crisper and sharper image during gameplay. I'm also going to be showing you a couple of performance tips that might improve performance. Let's get started. We are now in the in-game settings. As you can see, I'm running the sim in full screen and 2K resolution. That is the native resolution of my monitor. The anti-aliasing technique used here is TAA, and what you'll notice is that I have render scaling set to 140. The fact that is often overlooked is that when you increase this slider to anything above 100%, you are actually using SSAA, Super Sample Rendering, which is by far the best anti-aliasing method available today, but it comes at a performance cost. Now, you can experiment with this slider until the shimmers are completely gone. You don't need to do anything in your NVIDIA control panel. You don't need to change anything. If you're on a 2K monitor using TAA and DX12, this will definitely eliminate the shimmers. Let's take a look at the sim once more. There is absolutely no shimmering in the distance whatsoever. Here is another look with the sim looking very sharp and by the way increasing the render scaling will improve the overall quality of the image as well. Let me show you a couple of performance tricks that might increase performance in your sim. For this we are going to need the Nvidia Inspector. The link to download the Nvidia Inspector is provided in the description section of the video. Once you have downloaded and installed the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, select the Microsoft Flight Simulator Profile from the drop-down menu. If you have Resizable Bar enabled on your machine, make sure that you select R Bar Feature Enabled. Next, we're going to select the first option for R Bar Options and R Bar Size Limit. Let me show you. We're going to select the first item here which is the ending with 001. And from the second option here, which is the size limit, we're going to select the first one here. Next, we're going to go to the other section to the memory allocation policy. From this, we are going to select WKS memory allocation policy moderate pre allocation. This one will be selected by default. I have noticed that this option provides a little bit of performance uplift in most games, including Microsoft Flight Simulator. Apply the changes and you're done. If for any reason you're not happy with these changes or if they cause any issues or drop in performance, simply click here on the Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Defaults. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of this short video. I hope that it does improve performance and your flying experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you have any questions as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.